An old but new fragrance from imaginary authors, Bull's Blood. Hey, Fragrance Family, I'm Dave, and I'm a Fragrance Bro, of course, your best source for everything fragrance related. Now, I've done a lot of reviews about imaginary authors. I really love the line. I think they're a great line, very artistic, but really wearable. But this is one that I have not reviewed because I really didn't like it at the time, but they just re released it. This one is the newer version of Bull's Blood. Now, I believe within the last few years, they've been kind of re releasing fragrances that have been discontinued in their line and kind of re making them, reimagining them somewhat, kind of reshaping them. Even though they're very similar, they're kind of doing a couple of tweaks here and there on the formula, and this is one of them. Now, Bull's Blood was originally released with the line when it came out, when the line was released. And this is one, I believe, that was made specifically just for the perfumer himself. This is one of his fra favorite fragrances. He made it just for himself. And I think he didn't really even mind if no one else liked it. <laughs> and I think he still doesn't mind. They made new artwork for it, which I think is beautiful. Of course, the boxes look like books. I really love the presentation of this line. I do not have the original version to compare, so I don't really have that comparison here. So I'm just going to go off memory of what I remember the original Bull's Blood being. But let's go ahead and get into it real quick. Now, this was re-released in 2023, just a few months ago as of this recording. Notes in this, of course, are on the back here. They are geranium, Spanish rose, patchouli, black musk, tobacco, sandalwood, and bull's blood, the imaginary note, of course. Now, for season, I think this is great for winter especially. It's a very dense style fragrance. I think it works really well for winter. I think it could be worn for fall as well. I think occasion, this is very formal and feel, I think. It has a kind of very daring style to it. It does have a very kind of put together style to it as well. Very artistic. This is not a work fragrance. It can be worn casually, of course, and I would not wear this on a date, unless of course you're very familiar with the date that you're going with. Now performance on this was extraordinary. Um, the longevity on this was absolutely beastly. I must have gotten at least 18 hours on uh, wearing this. And then projection as well was very, very good. I wouldn't say it's beastly necessarily, but it was excellent. Now, as I mentioned, this is a relaunch of Bull's Blood. And I remember Bull's Blood being almost unwearable. I did not like that one at all. To me, that one smelled very, very animalic and barnyardy and it was just too rough. I don't typically like those fragrances. And so when the new one came out, I was a little bit hesitant, of course, but I still really wanted to try it. And I have to say, I am not disappointed. I think this is very good. I think this is different than what I imagine it being. Um, it does seem very much more wearable than the original one, though it does retain some of the kind of wildness of the original one. Now, this will never be a Sauvage. This is not an Aqua de Gio. This is definitely not a people pleaser, not that type of scent. But it is very good at the same time. I think this is very wearable, unlike the original one. I get a lot of rose at the start. Not super powdery. It's kind of like that, that kind of crystalline, clear uh, style rose on the sweeter side. And then I get some other things, like I get a lot of patchouli as well. I get sandalwood. And I get almost like this nutty, spicy thing, which I believe is coming from the tobacco that kind of adds almost like a black pepper, almost baking spice type of thing in there, as well as some kind of nuttiness as well. Well, along with the kind of rosy quality, there is some geranium in there. And I think the geranium plus the rose plus the patchouli kind of brings out this kind of rose patchouli accord that you might be very familiar with in fragrances. This is no different, but it's a little bit brighter and a little bit fresher than those type of combinations can be, which I really like here. It really shines at the start. It reminds me in style of maybe like a Middle Eastern style fragrance. If you've smelled those, you'll definitely understand what I mean. It's that rose patchouli type of thing with some dark woodiness in the background. And at the start, at least, there's not that barnyardy, uh, really kind of stinky animalic thing that I got from the original one. As it dries, the floral aspect does come down a little bit. I get more of the musk and I get that sandalwood tobacco accord. And there's also some patchouli in there as well. I get this really nice, warm, woody type of smell in there around the middle mark. And that is one of my favorite parts. It has this really nice, comfortable, woody, warm, very pleasant type of smell around the middle. And then once it dries down even further than that, some oud comes up. I get some oud, even though it's not listed in the notes, 
definitely oud, Middle Eastern style oud that has that kind of animalic twinge in there. And that is what I think is where the bull's blood or the animalic or the black musk type of thing is coming from. It does have a musky feel on the dry down and you still get some of the kind of woody qualities like the sandalwood, but there's definitely some kind of uh, skanky oud in there lurking there. And even still, it's not super, super strong, but it's noticeable. So if you like those type of oudy type of smells, I think you really like this. And that altogether really reminds me of a Middle Eastern style fragrance. However, I find a lot of Middle Eastern style fragrances lack the kind of complexity that this one has. This one is very refined and really shows the skill of the perfumer and the blend. This is just a really solid scent. If you like these type of ingredients, I think you'll like this fragrance. But if you don't like these ingredients at all, if you're not a fan of rose, if you're not a fan of patchouli or oud or that type of thing, then you might want to stay away from this because I think all of the notes here really have a moment in the spotlight and they really shine from start to finish, but you'll smell those eventually. Now the question is, is this a fragrance that I would really wear from day to day? And I don't think that it is. I don't think it's one of those fragrances that I would wear a whole lot, but I do really like this fragrance. I think there's something in here for people who really like that type of rose patchouli combo or Middle Eastern style fragrance or kind of the denser fragrances, even maybe a little bit of the animalic side. There's something in there for someone like this. This is definitely a unisex scent, even though it's really loud. I think that a lot of men and women could wear this easily and be comfortable in it. And even though I hated the original one, I think this new version is beautiful. I think it's really great, but with some caveats. This is not a fragrance I will wear all the time. This is only a fragrance I would wear occasionally and really around certain people who would understand it and who would really appreciate it. Again, this is not a fragrance that I would wear around the office or around people who only want to smell like soap or just <laughs> something like aquatic or something like that. I think that it would just be casting your pearls before swine. I think this was really, I think this is something that is really only appreciated by experienced noses, people who really like all these ingredients altogether and don't mind going outside the box of a fragrance. I think this is for you. All that said, Definitely check out Bull's Blood. I think it is a winner. With that, I'd like to thank my sponsor, Fragrance X. Fragrance X is an online reseller that sells thousands of legitimate products for a discounted cost. If you're considering buying a fragrance, definitely check out Fragrance X. I'll have a link down below to them as well as a coupon. But also check out Rakuten.com. Rakuten.com is a website that offers you a rebate with every purchase that you make through their website. They actually have a deal with Fragrance X that offers you a certain percentage in rebates just by buying through Rakuten. So I'll have a link down below to them as well. Definitely check out Fragrance X and Rakuten together. Great. But I would love to know what you think. So let me know down in the comments down below. Thank you again for watching. I'll see you next time. I'm David the Fragrance Bros. Bye.